Hey all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. This is Joe Prasad. Today we are going to solve one more problem that is min stack. It's a medium level. Let's try to understand the problem statement. Design a stack that suppose push, pop, top and retrieving the minimum element in the constant time. Okay, so basically we need to write code for four methods push, pop, top and here's the tricky part is achieving this in constant time get mid so actually push pop top are the very common functionalities from st stack we can do easily but uh, this is the tricky part of this question like get mid let's try to understand how we can solve this problem so let's say uh, this is uh, my input okay first three push and then two push and let's say someone calling get min and then some 5 push, 1 push, 6 push, someone calling pop, and then someone calling get min, and then 0 push. Let's understand something like this. So, if you observe, when this is getting push, 3 is there in our stack, and then 2 is there. When 2 is there, at the time they are calling get min, that means we should return 2 right because in this stack 2 is the minimum one at this point of time where it has only two elements so 2 is the output great then let's go ahead uh, 5 push right then 1 push and then 6 push and they're calling here pop right so when they say pop let's remove 6 now they are calling get min so what is the minimum element now after popping six you have one five two three so one is the minimum element right out of this all so second time you need to return min uh, one i mean to say for get min call then you have zero push zero push that's all so basically you need to keep track of what is the minimum element in this tag at the time they are calling this function and then you need to return that one that's all we need to do so <clears throat> how we can solve this is we can take a two uh, stacks uh, let me explain you so what I say is stack one and another one I, I call it as a min stack so this is stack one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain what is the minimum element every at every stage okay I mean to say let's say uh, first they're trying to push three I push in this stack one three without any hesitation then I check is min stack is empty at this point yes then three is the minimum at this point of time where I have only one element great great go ahead then two and I go and push two in the stack and what I do is I check is min stack dot p greater than two yes it's greater than two that means the current element two is going to be the minimum at this stage where it has only two elements right then i am going to push two here try to understand carefully so then they call get min so i should return only min stack dot peak min stack dot peak that returns the top element then let's go further five uh, we'll insert five here in our this tag and we'll check we'll check is min stack dot peak greater than five no it's less than five that means that means two remains the min right at this stage of time at this stage where it has only three elements three to five what is the minimum two only right then i i take min stack dot peak and again i make an entry of min stack dot peak only i mean the same value so two remains the minimum at this point then i go and check for one 
and then I push one here in our stack. Then I check is minstock dot p greater than one? Yes, that means one is now going to be the minimum element, right? There is a scope. Now I go and check for six. So six is getting inserted here. Great. I check is min dot min dot p greater than six? No, that means one still going to be the minimum at this point of time where it has three two five one six the minimum is one great going then pop now let's try to understand pop when they say pop we need to return what six from here as soon as you remove from this you need to remove entry from minstack dot peak also sorry minstack also the reason is for every element in the stack you are maintaining corresponding minimum element at that point of time so if you are removing six then you should remove one also still you can see you have a valid answer one is the minimum element out of three to five one then get me that's what i'm about to say so get me means you are going to return one here then zero then zero is getting inserted here and is minstruct dot p greater than zero yes that means that means here we can make an entry of zero so if someone tries to call get mean here again let's assume okay what we going to do we are simply going to return min struct dot pick that means zero okay then that is the valid output out of all the elements zero is the minimum at this point of time so that's all uh, for this approach uh, what is the tank complexity? So the tank complexity is big of one for all the operations like uh, push, pop, top, and get min. Okay, uh, but space complexity. This is tank complexity, but space complexity is big of n for stack, this stack, and big of n for min stack. That is nothing but big of two n. Now here it's a homework for you. So, is there any scope for us to reduce this space complexity? If yes, please do comment with your approach. Thank you. Uh, let's now go to the coding part. So, in order to save some time, what I can do is I can retrieve my last submitted code. And here you can see stack, min stack, and I'm initializing in the constructor. <coughs> And this is getting initialized when object is trying to create at this stage then push so what I'm trying to do as I said uh, I'm pushing in the stack without any check but if min stack is empty then only I'm pushing it directly otherwise I check whatever the value which I got if it is greater than pick that means I got 3 but in min stack 2 that means 2 is the minimum right so then I'm going to take min stack dot pick again I push it Otherwise, value is going to be the peak. Let's assume min stack dot peak, peak is 3 and value is 2. That means value should be inserted. Then pop, remove from 2, peak, uh, sorry, top, stack dot peak, get min, min stack dot peak. That's it. Let's submit. Yeah, it got submitted successfully. Uh, that's all for this video, but uh, don't forget to mark our tracker as a done for min stack. Yeah, here is the one. So let's see how many we done so far. We done seven out of 75. Still more to go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Bye.